a beautiful day and we're gonna start recording so hey everybody it's Erin um, I figured today we could do like sketching and coffee drinking just kind of something chill to um, start the day and um, I want to be like like my friends are my friends are artists and so we try to draw together but you know we're not in the same place anymore so maybe we could just you know whenever you have time you can click on the video and you're drawing with a friend so um, grab your art supplies doesn't matter you know if you're working on a, a sketch then work on your sketch this is totally chill um, I'm just gonna be sketching in my sketchbook and We'll just see what we come up with today. Um, I have my watercolor paints out. I'm maybe going to do some blob sketching. Um, so yeah, I hope you know. I hope you get, get your coffee or tea and uh, just have fun with me. <laughs> okay, so sketchbook, new page, sketchbook. Okay. I haven't even started and I'm knocking things over already. <laughs> okay. So I like the blob painting, blob sketching, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like it a lot, but I'm really not very good at it. Uh, most of the time, my blobs turn out to be fish. Uh, that's just because they end up looking like fish. Hopefully we can make things that uh, don't look like fish. It's a little gloomy out, a little windy out, so I didn't want to sketch outside. For any of you who've never done blob painting, um, it's, it's exactly what it sounds. You get some watercolors and you paint blobs, and then once they dry, you um, you draw on top of them what you see. Like, you know, when you look up at the clouds and then you see creatures or buildings or, you know, whatever. Whatever you see, you draw. My favorite color is yellow, so we're going with yellow for the first one. I have my hair dryer, just in case we, you know, want to speed up the process. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. Do I know what I'm doing? No, never. I never know what I'm doing. I'm just using regular sketchbook paper. It's just my, my normal sketchbook. Um, this is not watercolor. I got this sketchbook from my sister. She went to that uh, Van Gogh exhibit experience and she got me a souvenir. And I love it. Ooh, I like what that's doing. So yeah, uh, paint some blobs and then uh, when they're dry, we'll paint right over them. Hopefully they'll dry in time. I am painting with a regular Sumi painting brush, a Japanese painting brush. Um, I really like these brushes. Uh, they hold a ton of water. They have a very, very fine point, and I love that. Um, ooh, this one's a Winsor Newton. Huh, I didn't know I had that. Um, yep, it's a great, they're great brushes. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. I, oh yes, I hum a lot or sing a lot when I'm painting and drawing. Uh, sorry for my tone deafness. <laughs> I am currently listening to the new Red Hot Chili Peppers album. Um, what's it called? Uh, Limited Love. Um, it is awesome. Uh, if anybody else has heard it, let me know, because it's a really good album. I like it a lot. What's your favorite song? I think mine is number two. I don't know what it's called, but it's number two, the track number two. I'd be listening to it right now. 
right now if I wasn't recording. That's nice. Mm, let's do some more yellow. Yep. It's also really freeing when you don't have a plan. You just lay some colors down and a little like that, a little like that. Um, yeah, and see what see what the paint does. Obviously, again, this isn't watercolor paper, but it still moves around and still gives you a feel for just testing out things. Delicious, delicious coffee. My favorite, <coughs> my favorite is hazelnut coffee. Uh, I drink it black, and, um, but I have to have an ice cube in it because it's too hot. But yeah, black coffee. This one is uh, uh, Wide Awake Coffee Co. I believe, and I mostly bought it because there's a bug-eyed squirrel on the front of the cover or the packaging. It looks amazing. His pupils are coffee beans. It is awesome. Mm -hmm. I gotta start making these smaller. Okay, look good. Um, you wanna make sure that you start soaking up the water if there's still some on there, because again, I'm trying to do this live so I don't get the the luxury of time. Shook, shook, shook. Get that water up. Dab, dab, dab. Meh. Getting the texture of the paper towel on. Eh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just practicing. Just putting things on paper. It's, uh, it's all good. See, now I have Black Summer stuck in my head. Ooh, I like how that one came out. Suck it up. Alright. Okay. I think I have room for two more.
if anybody has done this technique before, any tips uh, would be super helpful. <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. But that's okay. Okay, now, now let's just try to soak up as much water as possible. Um, oh, that texture. It's not my favorite, but it's okay, it's okay. We're just trying to get something down on the paper. We're not trying to be planning, we're not trying to be perfect. Just a little sketchy poo going on. Okay, spread that around. Okay. <laughs> Soaking up water. That's the soaking up water song, I guess. Hopefully this will dry so that you don't have to hear me talking too much. And we can get back to drawing. So I'm excited. So I'm excited about trying this live painting thing. Um, Cause a lot of people, you know, will make video, will make videos, and we use time lapse to show the whole process. But you know, people think it takes only 20 seconds to paint a whole painting, and <laughs> like it's nice to show people how long something takes. Like you have to wait for stuff to dry. You have to wait you know build up layers and sip, sip of my coffee it's tasty yum 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 okay dry dry come on i really hope this dries quickly or this will be really short um these are mostly dry so i think let's just do a little extra taps You don't want to start drawing too quickly. You like really want to make sure these dry because uh, using your pen or your marking tool will will damage the paper. And, and if it's a pencil, it'll probably tear the paper because it's rough, buddy. It's rough. All right. While this is still drying a little, I drawing drying. What did I say? <laughs> While the paper's drying. I will draw the uh, the coffee squirrel. There's two big bug eyes and little coffee bean pupils and a little butt face. Yep, something like that. I like drawing cartoons. It's very fun. Um, I'd say if I had a style, I'd, I, I'd, I wouldn't say I had a style. I like watercolors. I like cartoons, I like anime or manga or graphic novels, whatever you want to call them. Um, I like I like whimsical, I like folk art, I like hmm, yeah, you know, so I like digital, I like dry, 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 come on, let's try. We can do it. Okay, one more drink. There's our coffee squirrel, and here are our blobs. Ooh, blobs. Alright. I think we're ready to start. No, it's not so dry, but that's okay. We'll start over on the... We'll start over on the other side. So, what does everybody else see? Because, honestly, I'm seeing fish. No. I don't 
see a whole lot. This is, I feel like this is gonna be hard. <laughs> This pen is a, I have a whole bag full, uh, the Paper Mate Ink Joys. I love those pens. Uh, I do wish they did refills for all the colors though, but they, they don't. They have some, not, not, not all of them. Uh, let's, I want to see if this will bleed with the water on it. Yeah, uh, yes it does, it does bleed. Um, not too bad though. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. We're, we're not inking and then painting, so that's... It's fine. I was just curious. If you are hearing snoring, it is um, my dog. He He's a snorer. He also sleeps with his tongue sticking out. It's adorable. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so what's everybody watching? I, well, for animations. I don't, I don't care about live action, it's boring. <laughs> no, but for animation, I am watching Summer Camp Island. Uh, it's on HBO Max. It was on Cartoon Network. Um, it is adorable. Um, it's about an elephant and a hedgehog, whose name is Hedgehog. <laughs> it's so clever. Uh, it's a an elephant and a hedgehog, and they go to summer camp on an island, and the island is magical. It's run by witches. And there are yetis who only talk in musical instrument sounds, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there are monk sasquatches who make apparently the best peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Uh, it's very cute. These seem pretty dry, so I'm going to start. Uh, ooh, ooh, I know what I see. <laughs> and it's not a fish. Yay! But yep, yeah, uh, they are, they live on, live on, they're on Summer Camp Island and it's super cute. It's the, the animation style is, um, adorable and they get into little antics and it's, it's probably fine for, you know, four year olds, three year olds, you know, but all the way up to probably 10 or 11 might, might think it's okay. <laughs> um, it's just cute. It's clever. It's, um. It's fun. I like it. If you like cutesy cartoons, you'll like it. Go, go, go find it. Go find it and watch it. Okay, we've got a wings. Wings. It's a dive bombing chicken. Hey. Yeah, I like that. He's so cute. Do some, some embellishments on his wings a little. Yeah. Super cute. I like it. did one that wasn't a fish. He's so cute. Okay. Uh, you can also, you should probably turn the page to see what else you can see, because straight up and down sometimes not the best. But, um, okay. 
Oh, oh, I think I've got something. <laughs> He's so cute. He's gonna be cute, guys. Dry, dry, dry. They're still a little damp, but it's it's working out okay. Some people uh, like really only stick to the the borders that are created by their the watercolor. Um, some people draw outside of it. I'm the latter, uh, you know, because he's got to have that extra arm. So if it ain't in the blob, I'm not I'm not amputating his arm. So, you know, you could just add add any extras or ignore parts of the blob if it doesn't make sense. You know, do whatever you're going to do. It's, you know, your painting, your practice, your learning curve, your, you know. Nature's got his little feet, little, little toe beans. And I was going to make these people riding him, but I don't want that anymore. We'll make them weird wings. I like that. Weird wings. He's a flying dinosaur. He. <laughs> Super cute. So I was thinking this this um, drinking coffee and drawing video would be, you know, half an hour to 45 minutes. You know, you don't want to be too long, too short. Well, I don't think it'd be too long, but. So turning again and I didn't want to see a fish, but I really see a fish in this yellow middle blob. So I think we're gonna draw a fish, guys. It's happening. Going back to my old ways, I guess. He's a nervous fish. I think I think he's concerned with the flying dinosaur above him. Okay, he's got a nice fin. Gonna give it another one. Like that. That'll work. Okay, I like that.
This is it. This is how long it takes to come up with ideas on the fly. Okay, I think it's a dog box thing, fox thing. Yeah, it's dog fox thing, fox thing. <laughs> I'm really not good at talking and drawing at the same time. There's a squirrel on his back end. Just. That's cute. Okay. It's gonna be one of those multi tailed fox things. I can't remember what they're called. But. And. <coughs> Excuse me. He's... She's... Not gonna have nine. We'll do as many as we can. Anybody else hold their breath when they're drawing? Like, the line is so delicate that you can't breathe. Yeah, oh well, I do that a lot. out add sparkles I think magic sparkles mist of magical creatureness yeah do 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 adding sparkles everywhere yeah okay I like the colors on this one very cute Ooh. I found I think I found skull. I'm gonna do this really sketchy, I think. Can you guys even see that? Yeah, maybe. Um yeah, do some sketchy lines. Just 
cross hatching and some kind of strange animal skull. Usually like a really fine point pen to do cross hatching, but this is what we got. Because we're just going with the flow here. Some kind of nose hole. Nose hole. <laughs> nozzle. That's it. It's a it's a nozzle. Okay, just Give it a little depth, add some more scratchy lines. Yeah, the pin's starting to die. And it's just because of the watercolor. Keep going. More depth here. Is anybody else uh, a major procrastinator? I... It's like I'm afraid to start a project or I feel like I'm going to be wasting my time. Like, oh, you should be doing laundry or something and not, you know, drawing. Even though it's like a project, like, you know. I feel like a procrastinator. And if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably be doing photo editing for something else, or a uh, video editing for something else. Which is good, you know, that's artsy, designy, that's fun. But I haven't drawn all week. Because I, I don't know, I'm afraid to start a project because I'm afraid I won't finish it. Yeah, I don't know. But that's what this is for. This is to make us draw. Make us get the paper out, get the pen out. If it's complicated, simplify it. Just grab any scrap of paper and uh, start drawing. I think for this page, <clears throat> I'm going to use all the colors. <clears throat> I'm going to use all the colors uh, and not just black. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I think I'm going to use these 
colors. And <clears throat> I see another fish, guys. It's it's not good. See? See? I default to fish. But he really looks like fish. With Cyclops. Cyclops goggles on them. On him. Wow. <sighs> Can't even talk anymore. From X-Men. Y'all know Cyclops X-Men? Yeah? Okay. That's what it looks like. Or maybe snorkeling goggles. Yeah, but they're on a fish. Lines. If anybody was wondering, and I'm guessing they weren't, but I've been drawing since I was little, tiny wee babby. I've always wanted to be an artist. I've always wanted to draw or do something with art. And so I've, you know, taken every art class I possibly could all throughout school. And then I went to college for graphic design. Um, basically, I was told you can't do. I can't do art and make money. So I went for graphic design. So there's that. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm very good at graphic design, but I'm pretty good at drawing or painting or something. -ing. Yeah. I love art. I just, I want to talk about it all the time. I want to analyze it all the time. I want to do it all the time. I want to create and, and, and look at other people's creations and yeah. We love art. Blah blah blah. Art art art. Okay, he's got some cool hair. Although it's his fins, but it looks like hair. Because he's a cool fish. With some derby goggles on. He looks concerned. Okay. He's like, it's like he's just a floating head with a fin. Meh, some fish are like that, I guess. like the goggles from Finding Nemo. Mur Murray? Marlin. <laughs> Murray. Murray the fish. Yeah, he, he looks like he's just a fish head. Fish head. Fish head, fish head. He is just a fish head. Doo -de -doo -de -doo. That's okay. We don't need to draw the whole fish. There's some... Some breathing apparatus. Yes. Yeah. That... I think will work. I'll give him some freckles. You know, they can't all be winners. It's kind of a cool nerd fish. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay, that's done. Okay. I'm done with these. Okay, I 
betcha. Hmm. Okay. This will be cute. Oh, I think that's too light. Okay. Darker. Ugh. This doesn't even want to write. Ah, it's dad. Eh. Okay. Next. Don't fail me now. That'll work. Okay. And this little guy. He's got some pointy toes. Okay. He's throwing up his hands in anguish. He's not happy. It's a round belly. Cute. Okay, another foot. Okay, yeah. Oh, he's an upset monster. For sure. Maybe... The townsfolk don't respect him, or they don't respect his purpose in life. Okay, this sort of looks like a car. We'll draw a car. Monster. Yeah. It's like a castle or something, I guess. Or a bowling pin castle. Something like that. You ever do that? You make narratives for your art as you're going along, and it, you know, gives you ideas. So now we got tears. That's how cruel they are to this little dude. You know, he tries to destroy a city, they resent him for it, or they don't even care. That would be worse. They didn't even care. Eh, poor little dude. And then, if you like your own creations, you know, you can just uh, either recreate them elsewhere, you know, like on the computer or on a big poster or something, or, you know, just uh, expand on it, extrapolate from it. I don't think I'll be doing that with a fish head in goggles, though. But you never know. That's what these tests are for. Alright. Crying monster. City who doesn't understand him. Totally relatable. Okay. We have quite a few left. We're about 46 minutes in. Okay, we'll 
this one I know I saw right when I painted it down it's some kind of large eared Pokemon esque type of creature it's got a f another foot we got more Dobins. Okay, yeah, we got more Tobins. Big fluffy tail. Ay, 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 what is my camera doing? Ugh. Let's just make it through. We'll give these stripes some depth, some color. Okay, I like that. Flashing lights are gonna mess me up. I'm so not tech savvy. I ugh, I stink at tech. Every time I turn something on, it just it doesn't work. It flashes lights. It's not the right angle. It has a hissing sound. I just and then you know you turn it off. My husband comes and he looks at it and I turn it back on. He just looked at it, mind you. Just looked. He didn't touch a thing. I turn it back on and it's working perfectly. I just, oh, I hate technology. Please just work until I finished this video. Huh? Can we do that, please? Ugh. Okay. Oh, he's so happy to see you. Yeah, he's totally a Pokemon. He's a fluffy bunny. No, he's a squishy bunny. He's a raccoony smoosh. Don't ever confuse your coffee with your paint water. I have done it before. I've put the brush in my coffee, although I've never drank paint water. Thank goodness. But yeah, uh, yeah, you just, you know, keep those on two sides of the table. Okay. Squishy raccoon man. Squishy Raccoon Mon. There we go. Is done. That one is so light. Oh, but I do see. Hmm. I see a turtle. But not any turtle. Tar turtle? Not any turtle. I see a dog turtle. Dog. Uh, not a dog. Oh, a seal. Maybe he's a seal. A seal turtle. Yeah, that's cute. The flipper. The flipper. Not a flipper. It kind of looks, I mean, you can't really see the shell, so I gotta eyeball that. I'm really bad at just drawing. I usually do searching lines where, you know, you draw it like a hundred times, like just, and then, and then you kind of choose which one, and then you, and then you, uh, 
pick which one line you want and then you just redo it. So I'm not really good at this. Just draw the solid perfect line right here. But it's okay. I'm, you know, learning, practicing, doing things out of my comfort zone. Moving right along. Do 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 do. Put loose and fancy free. Just keep thinking that. Yeah. You couldn't see the shell because it's all blobby. So. Let's finish that. Finish that one and so we'll just you know he's floating on a cloud of water a water a, a flow of water magic water yeah that'll work I hope your drawings are going well Anything done? Getting, getting things drawn, sketched, finished? Are you finishing a painting or a drawing or a sketch or something? So we did a turtle, and this one, this one he kind of looks like a turtle too. So, which is just great. See, it's fish. Fish, 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 turtle. Last time it was just all fish. But, uh, you know, so I'm improving. There are a few not fish. So, let's see if I can make this not a fish or a turtle. Um, hmm. What about this one? Well, I definitely see uh, a profile of a human. like a storm is rolling in. Glad I wasn't outside for this. Okay. Yeah, we'll do just all kinds of rainbow colors because I have no idea how I'm going to resolve this. We've got magic hair. I didn't want to do it, but I see a tail. And a fin. Let's try to ignore that for the moment. <laughs> It's gonna be some kind of mermaid thing. Tail. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this or maybe it inspired you or maybe gave you an excuse to just grab your pens and papers because your friend wanted to draw and that's what you guys do together. You draw, you know, you say I've, you know, I'm scheduling this next, well sheesh, it's almost been a full hour. Um, I schedule this whole hour with a friend to draw so it cannot be disturbed. I'll meet you after. <laughs> you know, you could say that. Uh, I hope this was useful or fun or funny or awkward or... No, wait, it was awkward. <laughs> I don't hope it was awkward. It was awkward. But, you know, that's uh, that's where we start with these things. So, um... Yeah, I hope, you know, you can do this. You, you know, I hope you're encouraged. I am your friend to draw with. So. You have somebody encouraging you and pushing you and you can do it. Uh, sometimes that's all we need. You know, just somebody to say, yeah, you can do it. Let's do this. Super inspiring, I know. <laughs> I should be a speaker. Okay. Yeah, I think she's got no arms. She's just a fish with a human head. Again, brought it back to fish. I can't help it. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below what you saw. Did I draw what you saw? Probably not. Oh my gosh. So much flickering. We're gonna have to wrap this up real quick, people. Okay, um, not a turtle. We're going with rocket ship. Propulsion for this rocket ship. It's got to make it past the uh, monster crying in a city. Uh, a flying dinosaur. A skull and a fish and a dive bombing chicken. So you're going to need some mega propulsion. Let's just add some uh, wings here. Some boosters to get him past the bombarding chicken. Okay, circle, window, my camera's probably going to take over the world at this rate. Don't know why it's flickering so much. If anybody has an idea, put that in the comments below. Because I have no idea. This is a Logitech camera for the pewter. It doesn't like me. So... Details. Okay, that's there. Okay, that's it. They're all done. Thank you for joining me. I hope this, you know, again, just some semblance of fun, inspiration, excitement. Uh, uh, what's it called? You're joined together. There you go. We are joined together in drawing blobs on paper. Thank you for joining me. Um, plan to do this again next week. <laughs> Bye.